Hello everyone in this video, let us uh, learn how to hide a field on the request form and uh, we will also see how to set a default uh, value of that particular field. So in the previous video we uh, learned how to create uh, a request uh, form and uh, we also added a few fields to that particular form. So this is the request form where I can add a summary, attachment, description and I can also fill in my impact and urgency. Now if you notice uh, the summary field is the only field that is required and you can actually raise, actually raise a ticket without filling up your attachment, description and uh, impact and urgency. But of course it is possible to make uh, those fields required. So if you go to your uh, a request type so let us say if you go to your keyboard issues and if you click on edit to fields uh, on this particular page you have the option to uh, make your uh, field as required let us say you want your description to be uh, required and uh, you can of course do that if you just change it to yes and that is it uh, it is actually very simple so you have the option to make a field required if you want to capture it for sure so if you let us say try to now raise a ticket keyboard not working it is a very simple and obvious thing to do uh, but in this video i want to show you how to hide your field from the request uh, form now we have the impact and urgency uh, displayed for the customer to fill but i can hide my impact and uh, when I hide my impact, I can set the value of impact, a default value for the impact field. So maybe by default, I want to keep it as minor. So what will happen now? Ticket will be raised and uh, the impact field will have uh, this value of minor. And of course, you can, I mean, when you receive the ticket later on, you can uh, change the impact if you think uh, it is something uh, uh, not really minor we can do the same thing for urgency we can uh, have a default value of low now what will happen now uh, you can go and uh, try to raise the ticket again so i can have my summary like uh, my keyboard is not working i can have a description please uh, provide help asap everything is asap for a customer and when you raise a ticket you will have a new ticket of course uh, raised uh, for you but uh, the values will be filled in uh, by default uh, based on what you set here on the request form um, and this is really important because uh, uh, especially in cases when you want to make sure that uh, there is some value for reporting purpose or maybe you want to keep track of few things uh, for sure so for a particular request uh, form you can set these values as the default. So maybe you have for keyboard issues, you, you want to have your impact as low or urgency as low. But maybe for something else like server related issues, you want to have impact by default as uh, not low. So this is, this is one use case. The other use case is that when you are using uh, your email uh, uh, based request, so people can also send email to your, uh, to your project. Uh, to your service desk and those emails will be converted as the tickets and in those cases maybe you want to have some default values uh, for uh, tickets coming from email so this is something that you can do if you if you think it is uh, required in your implementation and uh, this is all i wanted to share in this video so we have been doing uh, quite a lot of things with the uh, jira service desk uh, so far in the next uh, video we will spend some time talking, taking a look at uh, uh, customizing the portal because portal is a place where customer portal is a place where your customers can come and they can raise a ticket and you have the option to do some customizations uh, on the portal so i hope you found this uh, video useful and you learned something new today thank you very much